Hello everyone, I'm Anna Harps and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville. This is season 4 and it's episode 14 and it's aired on OWN TV. It comes on Saturday night and you can catch it at 7 Central. Okay, so last week uh, the guys had a soft opening of Martell's uh, wine line. So today they actually had the wine tasting event for Martel to launch his wine called Inez. Okay, so Martel arrives at the wine uh, tasting event looking like a new fool. He had on like a two-piece white suit and then he had on a white uh, fur fox slung over one shoulder, you know, looking like one of them dudes on coming to America. Okay, but that's Martel for you. That's the way that Martel dresses. So anyway, it's time for him to present his... Um, wine and to give a speech and he uh just you know goes mute okay so he finally gathered himself and he um uh, presented the wine but the thing about it is is that public speaking is just not one of martel's strong points so anyway martel's uncle is feeling a type of way because he feels that martel should have said more about the wine being named after his mother his mother is inez and it's Martel's grandmother. So he said that he felt like Martel didn't say enough about his mother. So the uncle approaches Martel at the uh, wine launch, and Martel was pleading with him. He was like, Come on, uh, you know, settle down. Let's not do this here. You know, you're on national TV. Don't do this on national TV. Well, anyway, the uncle must have said too much wine because this uncle was irate. Okay, he was so mad that um, he stormed off from Martel and slammed the door in Martel's face, and he actually got up and left. So, Martel's uncle just showed his behind. But anyway, the next day, the guys, they head back to um, Huntsville, and all the wives are drilling their husbands about their uh, trip, and... Um, it just came across as being, you know, really insecure in their marriages. Because I could see, you know, you asking your husband, you know, did you have a nice time or whatever. But, you know, they were kind of like, you know, tell me every single thing you did every single day that you were there. You know, they gave off like that type of vibe. So anyway, Tisha, she visited her life coach. And um, she told her life coach that, you know, her marriage was evolving and that, you know, everything was uh, peaches and cream at home. And then she sprung on him that Marceau, her husband, had went on a trip to Africa. She said that it was a last minute trip that he took to Africa. And her life coach was like, no, that's not a last minute trip. A last minute trip is, you know, hey, baby, I'm going outside to, you know, dump the garbage or whatever. You know, if you're leaving the country, you that includes, entails some, you know, type of planning. So her life coach told her, no, it wasn't a last minute trip. He just told you last. He didn't give you any consideration when he went on that trip by himself. So anyway, the life coach invites Tisha and uh, Marcel to a marriage retreat and Tisha accepted. But I don't know why uh, Tisha would accept this invitation because we're not going to get anything out of Marcel. Um, and the only thing that Marceau was going to do is clown Tisha like he always does. So next, Martel is at his mother's house and um, he's barbecuing and he told his mother how his uncle had behaved at his uh, wine launch. So anyway, I don't know what Martel's mother said Ex verbatim because um, she has like this really thick uh, southern draw, but she actually said that you know she agreed with her mother uh, with her brother. She was like, "Well, you know how Mama was about her cheering, and you know um, how her cheering is about her." So I just feel like you probably should have said more about. The mother, the grandmother, who he named the wine after. But I feel like, you know, that's trifling. He's already given his grandmother accolade. He named the wine after her. I mean, he's not selling, you know, um, 
patty pies or, or whatever. He, I mean, what does the family want him to do? Put a label on the wine that says, my grandmama bottle of wine? I mean, that wouldn't align with the demographics and his target audience that he's trying to reach. So anyway, next. Mel and Kimmy meet up at a restaurant and Mel did like the same antagonistic thing to um, Kimmy that she did to Tisha. She asked Kimmy um, was she comfortable with her husband going to Atlanta with her ex uh, cheating husband and um, Kimmy was like you know hey you know I trust my man so Mel gives her this like kind of dry subliminal message you know she just like kind of grins and sips her drink like you sure about that girl? But anyway, Kimmy said in her confessional that Melody thinks that everybody's husband cheats because her husband cheated on her. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that Mel doesn't have intel because, you know, Mel gave her that look like she really had some intel. Do I think that Maurice cheated on Kimmy? Um, no, not since they've been married. Now, I'm not going to say that there wasn't any overlap in the beginning because Kimmy said herself that, you know, uh, Maurice got around, but, you know, he stopped with her. So, anyway, when, um, okay, so, I want you to leave me a comment down below if you would, uh, be good with your husband going to, um, Africa alone, especially when you guys were planning a family trip to go to Africa. Now, I'm not saying that um, Marceau went over to Africa to meet some African uh, princess or queen. I'm not saying he was laying up with some women, woman in a um, hut. I'm just saying something's not right there when they were planning a family trip with Tisha, Marceau, and the kids, and then he just up and went alone. So leave me a comment down below if you would agree with your husband just leaving, you know, the country claiming that he's going on a last minute trip without you. So anyway, that concludes my review of Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 4, Episode 14, up, aired on OWN TV. I'm Anna Harps. Please hit that like button down below, comment, subscribe, share my video, and don't forget to hit that notification button, and then that way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I'm Anna Harps. I gotta go. See ya.